What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with an event guide for you guys today. So as you're aware, Love Evolved 2 has dropped today and guys we're going to be going over everything that you can get, what it looks like and how to get it all. So guys for those of you that aren't aware, there's a bunch of new stuff that's been added. First off, you can obviously see there's a bunch of new chibis. We've got the Crystal Wyvern, an Enforcer, a Velonosaur, a Otter and a Mesopithecus. As well as that we've also received two new skins some heart-shaped sunglasses, and a heart-shaped shield. This is what those look like right now for you. We'll show you right here. Oof. Look at that. Absolute chad. Taking those sunglasses off and putting them back on, it will trigger that little, uh, oh, that little, that little head nod that he does. It's just, it's absolute perfection. So guys, in order to get all these new items, you will need a cooking pot. Now, inside of the cooking pot, you'll see all the holiday-themed items for Valentine's or the Love Evolved. Now, obviously, these are the only two new skins. All these other ones are from previous Love Evolved events. You can still get these, um, and you just need certain resources. So, for example, you can see that each one of these requires a box of chocolates and Valentine's Dino candy at the bare minimum. Now, in order to get the box of chocolates and the Valentine's candy, you will need to fish for coelacanths. As well as that, you will need to breed your dinos. Mating has a chance of dropping the chocolates and candies, uh, but a much more surefire way is to fish for coelacanths. Now, you will need to find a lake, you will need a fishing rod. If you've got a higher tier fishing rod, definitely use it and uh, bring some giant bee honey as that is the fish's favorite food and it'll allow you to catch the max size coelacanths. Once you've done that, find a lake where there are a bunch of coelacanths and as you can see, there is absolutely none in this lake, which is very well thought out by CJ. But uh, yeah, you will need to fish. We'll show you uh, the uh, chocolates and stuff like that when we find another lake. As for the chibis, this is what the chibis look like at the moment. So we've got the Enforcer here. Um, my favorite one is probably the Crystal Wyvern. Let's just move out here into the sun so you can actually see it. So you've got the Enforcer down there looking, uh, I mean, as cute as you can get as a baby chibi Enforcer. You've got the Crystal Wyvern here, which is hands down the best one out of the, uh, out of the chibis. There we go, let's zoom out for him. There he is, look at him in all his glory. Looking absolutely schmick. We're just gonna do this real quick just to make the glare a little bit more manageable. There you go. So yeah, the Crystal Wyverns are my favorite and they do come in different colors. As well as that, guys, I have got the spawn commands down in the description and in the comments if you guys wanna spawn your own ones in without the need of having to run around and gather the candies yourself. You can see there, each one does have a different color scheme. So mix and match, try and find one that you like. Um, you can get the chibis from fishing as well. Um, you can see here we got lucky with a nice red one, looking absolutely dope. So that's the Crystal Wyverns. Uh, we've got the Otter, which is pretty much like the, uh, the Top Hat one, except it's just an Otter. So you've got that guy as well, looking, I mean, he's cute and all, but there are better chibis for this event. You've also got the Mesopithecus. The gigantic head. I think the Mesopithecus is actually bigger than a normal Mesopithecus. Um, check this out real quick. I'm, gonna, I'm pretty sure this is a bigger Mesopithecus than the actual wild one that you can get. Never mind. I don't know the command for it. So that's the Mesopithecus uh, chibi as well. You also have the Volonosaur. The Volonosaur looks all right. Oh, we got an actually a. Uh, a purple one, that looks pretty good. Let's try and get him to turn around here so we can actually see his face instead of just like his backside. There we go, that's a bit better. So you got the Volonosaur there looking pretty dope as well. Um, yeah, I reckon that's pretty cool. Now as well as that, there are wild event creature colors that are going on. So you've got lavender, cream, medium lavender, peach, deep pink, light pink, and dark red. All those are new colors. You also have the standard ones which are red, magenta, light red, and white. So keep an eye out for those out in the um, out in the wild. You'll see dinos like that. As well as that, there was a new uh, emote coming in. So you've got the flirty emote here. Uh, like I said, you can just spawn in the candies if you wanted to. I've got the commands in the comments for you guys. Uh, but if you don't want to spawn in the candies, you want to do it legit, by all means, just go do some fishing. Awesome breeding of your dinos, which everyone pretty much does anyway. So you should be able to bring that up quite quickly. Uh, we'll show you the fishing and getting the uh, the candies in just a second. Let's just show you this new emote. So you got the floaty emote here, which is the new one. And we'll just learn this one. Thank you very much. And that's a chair, CJ. Not what we are looking for. There we go. So let's learn the floaty emote. We'll come out here and love evolved flirt. 
I love those sausage fingers. They make me moist. So that's the flirt emote. He's doing a little bit of a... <laughs> that's what the flirt emote is. So if you want the emotes, they do stay permanently unlocked. There's still no fish in this lake. We'll bring you guys back when we've got some fish going on. Alrighty, guys. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of fish in here now. And you want to try and fish for the ones that have the love hearts coming out of their face. They are the Valentine's Day coelacanths, and they are the ones that will give you uh, the candies that you require. So all you need to do to fish, if you guys haven't fished before, it's pretty simple. You need a wooden chair, you need your fishing rod, and you need some honey. Uh, if you don't have honey, you can use leech blood or tree sap. Honey is the best one. It will allow you to get the most amount of fish and the largest of the fish. Can I put that on you? Why is it not working? But all you need to do is whack out your fishing rod, try and aim for the one that give you the love hearts, and throw your fishing rod in the water. And then all you have to do is wait for the fish to bite. Once the fish bites, reel it in, and obviously then you will gain access to your uh, your chibis and your candies and all that sort of stuff that you can get from the coelacanths. Do note that it has to be the one with the love hearts coming out of them. If you catch one of the normal coelacanths, it won't reward you with any of the candies. And you can see there, guys, that we did finally manage to catch one of the fish. And we got a bunch of candies. We got uh, a manta chibi as well. So, yeah, you can feed these dinos, uh, these candies to your dinos as well. And they will change the color of them. For example, if we decide to feed it to our pelagornas here, it'll change color. Now, it is only a temporary buff. And they do get a bit of a movement speed buff as well um, based on the rarity of the candies. But uh, yeah, if you want to change around your dino colors or anything like that, feel free to use these. You can see there the Pelagornis is changing colors. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about the vent, guys. Um, like I said, spawn codes are in the comments and the descriptions. If you can't be bothered fishing, then by all means, use the spawn codes. Uh, or you can mate. Mating as well nets a little bit amount of uh, candy. Uh, so it is worth it. It's a lot easier to mate than, than fish, and trust me, guys. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But on that, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.